here we go. I got a few people asking me how do I do this. There are a lot of people making jewelry, but I'm gonna break you down how I actually do it. I've got a few little techniques I use. One is from a buddy who gave me this little technique. You go to Home Depot and you find these. They're free. Oh, by the way, we got the kid behind the camera. I'm sure he's gonna do a good job. We won't have to fire him. So these little things here, they come from Home Depot and they're free. You can just take all of them. Look at here. I got a stack of them. We just take them for free. They don't charge you. You take them, you can make coasters out of them. You can actually finish it and make a coaster out of that. But what you do, at least what I do, I make what's called my test blob. So I put some paint on there, I'll blow it out, make my little test blob. And that's one way I start to get my jewelry. Another way is cheap, not free. I mean, what does this cost? 0.33 thousandths of a cent. And this is just a paper plate. So I have one already cut out, sort of. But this is all I do. I take my scissors and I throw them around the house. Oh, I throw them right around the house. Creepers, little tiny scissors. And once you make your test blob in there, you just cut it out. Get it close to your blob. And you get your little blob cut out. I got lots of paper plates with blobs. I mean, I got lots of paper plates with blobs. So once you got your blobs, you take your little piece of paper. And today, I'm actually gonna make a heart and a circle. So my circle is gonna be my little test blob on this Home Depot thing, but I already have a paper plate one cut out that has this nice red to it. So when you're, you got a beautiful heart, you know, just look at this little pendant here. This little pendant that comes in this little kit here from this place here that kit comes with your little tray comes with your little piece of glass and it comes with a nice little piece of i think it's nylon but it's nice it's not too cheap but yeah there, there you go you know, make yourself a piece of jewelry get close up on there look that up online you can get some of that so we got our pieces. I like to stage everything right in the same way. So your blob or paper blob, your glass, your glass, your tray, get that stuff lined up. And just for quickness, this is what I've been using to glue the stuff down. I take that Gorilla Clear Grip and it sets pretty quick. And I'll show you exactly how I'm about to use that on these trays and on that glass. So, like I said, this one's already cut out. And it's got paper on the back because I used a paper plate. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. I try to find myself inside this nice little picture. Something that looks good inside of there. And I like, I like all these cells right in the center here. So I line up this little glass piece of heart, and I'm like, ooh, 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 that's, that's nice right there. And then I hold it real tight. I take my scissors, and I cut around that piece of glass. Once you get to this edge, you just cut that right off. Move it. And just keep cutting this heart out. Cut that little piece off. Then you gotta be, you know, you gotta do a little ninja artist stuff here. Oh, get around that corner. And you get that cut nice and close. Once you got it close, you take that piece you cut and you try to fit it inside this tray. And you're just gonna look what doesn't fit and what does fit. I can see this little tip is fitting good, but the top here needs to be cut out. So I take my scissors. And you just kind of mentally know, I got to get a little bit in here. Hey, yoop. Then you're going to come this way. Go a little. Yoop. You're just going to cut that little tiny top of that heart out. Once you got that, you try to make it fit again. 
Oh, you can see just right here a little bit, them little tips, they gotta be cut off. Cause it's not quite fitting in the tray. So you're gonna take this and go round it off. And then you see if it fits in your tray. And it's just gotta start to fit in that tray. If you're looking really close, you can see that some of that tray is showing. That doesn't matter. Once you glue this glass top on top of here, you're not going to see those little spots. It disappears. It's gone. So you get that to where it just starts to fit nice. Get this out of this tray, hopefully. Sometimes you got to persuade it. So now this is one with paper on the back. So this one is actually going to have to take one step that you don't normally have to do. I take my plate. Inside of here, I got a little bit of water. So kind of like a temporary tattoo, I just get this paper wet. Get that paper wet. Set it in my plate like this here, and I just let that wet water start to soften up that paper. We'll come back to that in a minute. Now that that one has started, and that stuff is starting to soak up on that paper, we can take our other test blob and peel it right up off of this little test blob. The, the stuff just peels right off of here. It's nice. Well, this one, we're going to make this circle one. So we're going to take and find, with our glass piece, a nice looking place inside of here. So we want something good looking. Like that looks pretty good. So when you find something that looks good, you grab this thing and you just hold this piece of glass nice and tight to wherever you're looking for. And then just cut around it. All of this stuff here, I don't really like it, so I, I don't care. It's garbage. Just hold it nice and tight and cut right around this piece of glass. Wherever you have to to help you out, you just cut it right off. Once you got it close, peel your little piece off of this glass. Try to put it inside this little tray and you're just looking for what doesn't fit. So I can see there's some little tips here that need to be cut off rounded you can see it's like a little sharp angle you just round that off Boop. this little side over here you can see it kind of sticks out all wobbly you're just going to cut it off and make it rounded and see if it fits in this tray I can still see there's just a little bit right here that wants to fold up. So you want to get rid of that. You just take it and you round it off. That should fit right in this tray. Once it fits nice in the tray without bending or folding the thing, get it out of there. Put it aside because you're just about to finish this one. Now we need to look at this one. It's been soaking. Put our stuff off the side here. This one that's been soaking, you start to scratch on that paper that's on the back of it, and this paper will just come right off. Put it that way. And you see this paper just comes right off. You need to get that paper off. Otherwise, it's too thick, and then the glass won't glue inside of that tray right. So you're really trying to get all of the paper off just down to the acrylic. Just a little bit of cleanup back there. Get all that paper off. Then all you're left with is just the acrylic. You make sure that fits in your tray. Which it does, 
I'm gonna do this one last. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna let that dry out. Get all this garbage off to the side. We're done with this piece. There, I will actually probably make a couple more of this. So I put it in my pile of skins. See all my pile of skins? Those will all make a bunch of jewelry. Some of them have paper, some don't. That's my pile of skins. So we'll let this one dry. Over here, the heart, and one of these. So we're gonna finish both of these. Here's a, here's a nice little tip. If you haven't subscribed yet, go down there, down there, and you'll see the little red subscribe because you're not a subscriber. If you subscribe, it would say subscribe and it'll be great. If it's red, yeah, don't take care of that business. I'll finish this one off. Let's take this Gorilla Glue. We're going to hit this tray with it. It's nice to sometimes have a piece of paper towel, but with these gloves on, most of the time I don't need it. I want the glue start to drip out of the tip of this. And then I just smear it around the bottom of this tray, around the edges, around the middle, just to get a nice coating everywhere. Once I got a nice coating, put your cat back on so you don't make a mess. Take your skin and just lay it right inside of there. Pretty much the best you can. Get it to just be inside of there. Now here's one of the tricks that I do. I'll take it and push real hard with my finger and I'll spin it. That gets that glue smushed around to each edge. Now normally I would take a toothpick, like a wood cheap toothpick, and I'll push this down, but all I got is my scissors right now. So you push down these edges, get it nice and sticking around them edges. Take your finger again. You want to look at the composition of your piece. I like the way that's orientated, so I'll leave it right there. Do a little bit more pushy-pushy, make sure everything's stuck down. And then I'll take this to dry over here, along with its nice little glass rim. And then I'll start to work on this, and I'll feel it. Look at how I feel this. This is how I feel it. Well, it's still a little wet. So you can dry it off pretty quick with your shirt. Take a little push, push it on your shirt. Do a little blowing. As soon as you see a little bit of that residual paper that's still left, start to turn white, you're doing good. So it's gonna be fine. So we'll take the next tray, take our little clear Gorilla Glue, and just smear that inside of this heart tray. They make these trays real smart. There's little tiny holes in here so it fills up with this glue so it actually grabs a hold of whatever you're putting in there. It's nice. So you get that smeared around just nice and thin. Don't go thick. You actually push the tip of this right flat so that barely any glue is coming out. You just want a thin layer in there. And you take your cap. Make sure you keep putting your cap back on. Take your little skin, stick it right inside of here, push it nice, usually like I'm saying I take a wood toothpick but I don't have any right here in front of me so I'll just take this here, a little pair of scissors, obviously this one you can't spin in a circle but you're going to want to move it a little bit, you want to get that glue all over the bottom of this piece of skin. Push down the edges. Th this little piece here is going to be beautiful. Ooh. That piece of glass on top of here is going to magnify that bad boy. That's going to be nice. So now after doing this one, this one is already ready. You don't have to wait too long. Just check your edges. That's ready to go. Take your glue, and this is, I let this glue, I don't know if you can see this in camera, but I let it start to drip out of the tip here. 
I'm gonna put it right in the center. I just make a nice little circle with this glue. You get close to the edge. You don't have to get all the way out there. Just getting close. That nice little ball of glue is gonna give you exactly what we need. Now when you take the glass, the first thing you want to do, because you've been touching everywhere, is make sure you clean the bottom of that glass on your shirt or your pants. Usually I use my pants and I'm just cleaning that very bottom surface so there's no fingerprints or anything. And you drop that right on top of the center and you're gonna push real hard in the center of this glass. That's gonna smoosh that glue outward. It actually works like resin. When you resin the painting, it, it smears it all the way across the top and makes that painting that's in there just come alive. You don't wanna just dab little pieces of glue. You want a good bunch of glue. So when you push on it, it smushes out all the way. Otherwise you'll see these weird lines and stuff. Sometimes if you do see a little something, you just take that glass in your fingers while it's still wet and you spin the glass. And then you smush real hard. And you can look at that thing as just, whoo, nice, whoo, boy, woo, woo. That's nice. Now by the time you're done with this one, now this one's ready. You just take your toothpick, normally, like I'm saying, usually I use a wood toothpick for this, but I'm just gonna use the tip of these scissors right now and just make sure the edges are nice. They're nice. Now take this glue. Squeeze bare. You don't even really have to squeeze. It'll just ooze out of there. Once it starts to ooze, you put it right in the center of your piece and you make little circles outward. Nice and flat. You want the tip of this glue to be flat. It's just going to put a little bit of glue there. Once you get it close to the edges, you pick it up. Put your cap back on. And then when you take that glass, make sure you clean it really good. On your giant belly you make sure the bottom of that glass is nice and clean and then when you put it on here you're just gonna smush right from the center and kind of do a little circle with whatever shape even a square you got to kind of do these little circles with your hand pushing on it nice and hard it's gonna smush that glue outward Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that looks that looks nice. Once you got it nice and smushy smushy. The hearts are actually a little easier than the circle. That's beautiful. And then with that kit that I showed you, I will package this little kit. I mean, it's perfect. So it, it's a one, it's a one-stop shop. Once you're done gluing that there, you take your chain, you let your chain fall through this little side hole here. You pull it to the middle. Just give yourself a little hook. And that's a done deal. That's a beautiful piece of jewelry already. Same thing with the other one. You just take your chain. It'll fall right through this piece perfectly. It's not too big. Just goes right through it. Get it through there. Take your little hook. Hook it on to whatever part of the chain. I mean, this little piece of chain, that's for if you need a bigger or smaller, but most of the time you don't need it any bigger or smaller. Look at that. That's nice. Look at this heart. Look at this heart. Yep. And that's how I do them. That's how I do my jewelry. Quick and simple. Those little kits help you out a bunch. If you like what you saw, push that subscribe, hit that like, take the bell and go. You can even take the choppy chop chop.
We'll see you on the next one.